Hey guys, so today we're making some barbecue pulled chicken. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I am starting with four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You can also use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And so I am just adding some garlic pepper, onion powder, and some garlic powder, but you can use whatever seasons you want. Just make sure your food is not bland. We don't want no bland food, y'all. And so make sure you season both sides. And so after we season our chicken, we are going to add some barbecue sauce. And so today I am using Sweet Baby Ray's, but you can use your favorite, bar your favorite barbecue sauce for this recipe. And I ended up using about the whole bottle of uh, barbecue sauce. And so after that, I added in one yellow onion, which is totally optional, but I feel like the onion adds great flavor. And I am gonna cook this on high for four hours. And so while that is cooking, I am going to make some coleslaw. And so since we are doing a crock pot meal, that means we want everything to be easy. So I got a bag of coleslaw from my local grocery store and I am simply adding it to a bowl and pouring in the dressing that came in the bag and stirring it up. The only thing I added was some black pepper. And so I'm just gonna mix that up and I'm going to chill it in the refrigerator until I am ready to use it. And so after about three and a half hours, this is what our chicken looks like. And so I am just shredding it with a fork and then I'm gonna add it back to my crock pot. And so if you find that your um, chicken needs some more barbecue sauce, you can simply add in some more sauce like I did. And then you're just gonna put the top on and let it hang out until the rest of the food is done. And so I decided that I wanted to make some french fries with my pulled chicken. And so I did not go the easy route for the french fries. I, I decided to make some homemade french fries. So I am just using my uh, potato cutter thing and making some french fries. But you can also uh, cut these by hand, of course. And so... After I wash my potatoes, I am just drying them off with a clean dish towel or some paper towels. And so I'm adding in some olive oil and I'm going to season them with my favorite seasoning because I want my food to taste good to me. And I am making these in the air fryer, but you could also make this in the oven or a deep fryer. And so I am just placing this in my air fryer basket and I am going to press my uh, fry button or the air fry button and then let it do let it do its thing for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are nice and golden brown and crispy like I like it and that's it you guys this was super simple and super delicious look at those crispy french fries and so I just have um, some Kaiser rolls that I toasted up I put some butter on them and then toasted them up on the stove and so I'm adding in my pulled chicken some uh, coleslaw, more chicken, and that is it. I'm gonna serve it with some fries on the side. And guys, this was super delicious. My kids loved it. I think the coleslaw added a nice um, texture to the dish and um, nice flavor. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.